Here. Yeah. I asked for a pint. That's only half a pint. So you drink it, I get you another one. Yeah, but I like a pint, not two halves. Two halves ain't like a pint. Brian, <laughs> how many half pints is in pint? Is two. Two halves, one pint. That's right, Lisa. You're catching on, love. Now you believe me? What are you, ignorant peasant? You've never been in pub before. Yeah, I've been in lots of pubs. I've been in the Flying Horse, the King Arthur, the Frogmore, the Duke's Head. Oh, no, I ain't been in that one. That was my brother. <laughs> All right, Lisa, go and collect some glasses, love. There's a good girl. Sorry, Oswald, mate. It's a bit of a staff problem. Here, I'll have this one on the house, OK? And the Bricklayer's Arms, the Falcon, the Jolly Poachers. No, I ain't been in that one either. In fact, I ain't even heard of it. <laughs> Ian, what are you doing? What's the matter with him? I don't know. He said to me, I am not Finnish. And I say, neither am I. I am Vestonian. <laughs> He's nicked my drink. All right, Charlie, don't get out of your pram. Here, have this one on the house. Take that back to the customer. Oh, I see. If you are not Finnish, you stay in your pram and get free beer. <laughs> I don't understand. It's the common market. <laughs> now I understand. You finish? No, I ain't. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hello, Jim. See the match on the box tonight? No, any good? Any good? There was geezers climbing over the turnstiles to get out. <laughs> old Bill was slinging them back in again. <laughs> well, come on, give us a pint of the old... Uh... Oh, stone me. Look at that. <laughs> I've seen it. What do you want? A pint of your usual? The usual what? Your usual drink, for God's sake. Brian, is that all you ever think about drink? You've got a problem or something? Yes. My problem is, if I don't sell any beer, I'll get the sack. That's my problem. Is she going to work here? Well, the governor says she is. She's uncommitted. But I'll tell you, she definitely ain't the stuff that great bar persons are made out of. Of course she is, Brian. She's the stuff they're made out of, all right. You can see that. <laughs> Nearly all of it from here. <laughs> Do you want a demonstration? <clears throat> Lisa, would you mind serving this customer, please? while I write out a suicide note. No problem, you bet. Good morning, what do you like? <laughs> what do I like? Oh, a pint of lager, please. A pint of lager. No, one of the big glasses. How am I going to learn if you keep telling me? Goodbye, cruel world. I have decided... Gin, whiskey, rum... What oh, Excuse me. It's in that pump there. You in hurry or something? You got taxi waiting. I was coming to it. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> you want some change? Well, if it's no trouble, will you? You tell me when it's enough, OK? <laughs> now, would you say there's enough there, Jim? And if you touch it, I'll break your arm. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Well done. You see? No problem. <sighs> <sighs> Do you want a wafer in there? Still though, Bryce, every punter's dreaming it, eh? A scatty barmaid who can't add up, and with great big... Oh, blimey. <laughs> Where's she come from, then? What's her SP? The governor's missus told him to get an au pair for their house in Brighton, and that is it. She showed up here this morning with a letter, saying I've got to give her a job and find her somewhere to live. <laughs> you are joking. No. You've got one bed in one room. You don't even know the girl. That's your trouble, mate. You do all your thinking below the waist. You don't know what I'm thinking. No. You're thinking about getting her around your drum and getting up to obscene, perverted naughties with intervals for quiet meditation on the Karma Sutra. <laughs> you do know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Here, I think I'll go and exchange a few uh, jocular remarks, you know what I mean? Little pleasantries. You know the things. Do you prefer one pillar or two, lights on and off, all that sort of thing? Good. Distract her attention for five minutes while I try and get this pub running again. Don't worry about that, mate. I shall turn on the old irresistible charm. Right. 
Oi! <coughs> Hi. I'm Jim. Hello, Jim. You once had my change? You know what? It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in a pub. My English is good, no? Yeah. When you say things like that, I can't get enough of it. In my country, all girls learn English. Come here, marry Englishmen, become British citizen. Mm. You wanna marry me? <laughs> well, um, it's not exactly what I had in mind at the moment, you know, but let's, uh, let's not rule that line of thought out altogether, eh? Please? In this country, right, England, when, when two people like each other, they, they sort of like, uh, they sort of live together, you know, and, and after a, a time, or a few times, they, uh, <laughs> they think about getting married. OK, no problem. No, I, I, don't, I don't think you quite understand. You want me to come and live with you? That's OK, no problem. Where do you live? Where do I live? You don't know where you live. <laughs> Uh, 17 Railway Terrace, Elephant and Castle, London, SE1, AQT, 017037. OK, no problem. I go get my things. Here, yeah, Brian, just supposing, like, just, just suppose I could find her somewhere to live. I mean, what's in it for me? Three or four pints of special way out the staff barrel. Listen, you get her off the premises before the effluent hits the fan and it's worth double. <laughs> You're on. I'll slip her around to 17 Railway Terrace and I'll be back to collect. All right. See you in the morning, OK? Oh, oh, oh. This is Councillor Moggs, your new neighbour. You don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> OK, no problem. Tomorrow I poison his yak. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Right, here we are, all Oh. Uh, see you in bed, then. <laughs> Good idea, eh? Early night. Stay with me, is that the time? Where are you going to sleep? Hey? Where are you going to sleep? Oh, well, I sort of... thought I'd sort of start here, and then... Range about a bit, you know. I forget my dagger. Yeah. I thought you said dagger then for a minute. You did say dagger. <laughs> um, what's all the cutlery for? It's custom. In my country, all unmarried girls sleep with silver dagger. Ah, uh ah, -uh. yeah, that's what you do at home. I mean, does that go for away games and all? Please? Let's just get this straight, right? If I get in there with you, would you kill me? Kill you? What, you think I am, a savage? Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> you, oof. You had me going there for a minute. I don't kill you. I kill myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> How come a country like yours that turns out such fantastic-looking women can have such rotten customs? Ain't your country got any customs? Yeah, we got customs. But ours just search your bags and nick all your duty free. <laughs> I know. I will play your record on my phonograph. Make you very happy. Oh. Oh, yeah, good idea. Nice one. Yeah. Have a bit of a dance uh, to start. <laughs> I knew we'd get round to it somehow. In my country, everyone listens to this. It's very nice. Don't you worry, kiddo. You'll play it, I'll dance with it, okay? This is number one hit record in Bestonia. A young private. <laughs> and he spread them out in front. Very nice. <laughs> the sergeant in charge saw the car and sent soldier from the window's car. Good morning. You sleep good? Yeah, about as well as you can on three kitchen chairs with your feet in a sink. It's not good. Well, wonderful, yeah. It's all right till you turn over, then you hit the free fall situation. <laughs> Don't worry, though. The floor broke me fall every time. Now I live with you. You want to marry me? Well, I must admit, three o'clock in the morning last night, 
after me head hit the kitchen sink for the fifth time. The thought of climbing in my own bed did make me think if there was an all-night vicar in the yellow pages. <laughs> I'm all right now. My father give you good dowry. When my sister get married, he give 200,000 kazonkas. <laughs> 200,000 palonkas? <laughs> How much is that in English money? Oh, I can see it now. Nice, quiet wedding with old dad. Bound and gagged and left in a cozy in you. <laughs> Couple of nice Rolls Royces, champagne flowing like water, caviar, dancing all night. Well, come on, how much? About three pounds. <laughs> three quid? Well, that ain't a lot for a man's freedom, is it? So what's so good about this freedom? You got no woman to wash the dishes, make the goulash, keep you warm in bed. You as well be holy monk in monkery. I go to work now. You think about it, okay? My freedom's important to me. I need me freedom.